Today in our 2018 Jeep Cherokee, we're gonna take a look at and also show you how to install the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver. Offering the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, its part number is C13171. Now here's what our hitch is gonna look like installed. As you can see, we have a visible cross tube. It's gonna go pretty much across the rear of the Jeep, meets here in the middle at our two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. Now as far as the looks concerned, if you don't like the appearance of a hitch that stretches all the way across, we do have other options. They're a little bit more difficult to install though, so it's kind of a give and take. This one's easier to put on. The brackets we have here on the side go down and around our exhaust, so there's no need to lower the exhaust, and there's no need to trim our fascia panel. That can sometimes get kind of intimidating. People don't like to do it. So this gives us a good alternative so we can get a hitch on our vehicle, utilize the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, but not have to make any vehicle modifications. Now this is a class three hitch. That means it's gonna make it very, very versatile. There's all kinds of hitch accessories out there, cargo carriers, bike racks, ball mounts, and they are typically gonna come in a class three variety. And for holding those items in place, you got your 5 8 diameter pinhole there. There's a good amount of room there, so whether you're just doing the traditional pin and clip, maybe a locking hitch pin or even an anti-rattle device, you shouldn't have any issues with clearance. If you're going to be hauling a trailer, we've got our safety chain connection points down here on both sides. As you can see, it's got a good opening on it, so just about any type chain should connect there without any kind of problems. Now as far as weight ratings go, the hitch is going to give us a 750 pound tongue weight rating. So that's the maximum downward force we can put at our receiver tube opening. And it gives us a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. So that's going to be the total weight of our trailer and anything we are to load up on it. It is rated for use with weight distribution. The tongue weight rating is going to stay the same at 750 pounds, but your gross trailer weight rating goes up to 6,000 pounds. Now those numbers are probably going to exceed the actual capacity of the Cherokee, so definitely check your owner's manual, see what its tow rating is, and don't exceed it. Now a few measurements you'll find helpful when it comes time to select your ball mount, bike rack, or hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening. It's got about 12 inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about three and three quarter. Now to begin our hitch installation, we need to get our hardware put in place it's gonna go on the frame rail on each side. We're gonna have three mounting locations. One is here. This sometimes has a rubber plug that covers it. If it does, just pop that out. You got the one right behind it located here. And then just on the outside of the frame rail from this hole right here, it's gonna be our third attachment point. There'll be two holes in the rail. You wanna use the one closest to the rear of the vehicle. Now in some instances, you're gonna notice excess amounts of caulking or seam filler here. We'll need to remove that just so our hitch has a nice spot to sit. So you can use putty knife or a razor knife. Just kind of clean it off to this seam right here. Now we'll start with the rear attachment point first. We'll use our pull wire. We're gonna feed it in of that hole we want it to come out the larger square hole. Like that. Place on our spacer block and thread on our carriage bolt. Just feed the block in. Feed our bolt in. Pull it down through. Now we'll leave this attached for now. Next one we'll do will be the one on the side. It's kind of the same process. When we get this in, we're going to pull it all the way out so we can get the bolt and the block engaged together. And then we want it to rest back in so we can slide our hitch in place. Pull it all the way out, make sure it's engaged, and just let it rest back in. Now for the square hole, we're going to use a reverse technique. So we want to place our bolt up and in, place our block up and in, and we'll pull that down through. Now we're just gonna head over to the driver's side and we'll do the exact same thing there. Now with the help of an extra set of hands, we're gonna start getting our hitch in position. You see, we just place those pull wires down through the appropriate holes. And on the hitch side plate, it's gonna be the furthest one back and the furthest one forward. The bolt that comes through the side is gonna go through this upper flange. 
We just slowly lift it up into position. Make sure all our bolts come down through. And then if you pull your side bolts through on each side, your hitch will just kind of rest there for you. Now we're gonna remove our pull wire. We're gonna start threading on our flange nuts. We wanna be sure we do this in all six locations. Now we're gonna use a 19 millimeter or three quarter inch socket and start snugging down all of our hardware. Now you wanna check your instructions. In there you'll have your torque specifications. We'll go through and torque all six bolts down appropriately. And that's gonna complete our installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C13171 on our 2018 Jeep Cherokee.